in promise to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. Oh. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Oh. No surprise. Yes, very. It, it was not what I was expecting. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost. Their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like... Eh? A small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. Never easy to think a friend. It's not something I have much experience with. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me. Got me moving when others... faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends, and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. Uh, never checked up on them? No. I told myself it's because I never had the time, but in truth, I was scared of what I'd find. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I would be too, but shit, you never know. You have, if they're half as strong as you, they've gotten by. Where that they, and you for leaving them? That's an assumption. Half as strong as you, they've gotten by. I have no doubt they were resourceful. Still, how badly were their lives damaged by that moment? In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone. To be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. Yeah, there's a fur up. Fuck. Yeah, you know I'ma take it. You know what I'm saying I'ma take this shit. You know I get my option. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Take my option. I'll do anything for you. Thank you. That is. Uh, I'm sorry. I am not used to someone being do so anything for considerate you. on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. Okay. Damn, we got a saw mission. All right. Keep connections computer. Decryption routine. Five, five hundred stupid. Just seen that. Kitchen complete. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> Stay away! You're... <gasps> Spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Hope so too. Where are we going? Raid House Assembly Tower. Alright, we out. Alright man, we just did a lot. That's crazy, I haven't seen a leash either. Somebody, you yeah, he's going in here, man. Ah, oh, damn. About to break a hit. Makes sense why you're not dancing. Ah, there you are. What Benjamin kept you? By you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's systems. You were expecting me? Well, yes. You didn't think your little foray into Genodyne would go completely undetected, did you? Bitch, I came in here guns blazing. If you're smart, then you figure it out. No, I'm here, then you know what's at the sea. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Hello? How about Hello? Anyone in there? Or, Let's go. Why do you care if the Crimson Fleet steals gender dying secrets? Because, like the majority of revenue generating businesses in the city, I have a vested interest in Genodyne's profits. But more importantly than simply losing money, I don't like anything in my city being interfered with without my approval. Uh, paying a deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. You know, from the Crimson Fleet, you mean... You know, we mean business. And I'm a businessman. Which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It's 
Why you feel your ergs is stunning, your methods are no different than ours. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. That is an offer? Your negotiating skills are impressive indeed. Is it still Vincent? What happened to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Perhaps we can come to a financial agreement instead. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that you, this is caused. You think so? I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. You think so? It was me. Really? That's the story you're going with. Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. I almost admire your commitment to corruption. Almost. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Okay, still at Adam. I got you. Hold on, I have to. I have to get some tape and then retape my glasses. Probably when I get some new glasses, I'll have my stream back on, but you know what I'm saying? And be looking crazy with the cam on with my fucked up glasses, bro. Can't wait to get a new pair of glasses. This is bothersome, bro. Not even gonna lie. Bothersome. Having arms that just constantly fall off. Going places I can't fucking see.
Security's got its eyes on Saburo Ogadipo. The guy's trouble. It's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas come down. Alright, let's try going here. Damn, she's running hella fast. What the fuck? Excuse me, I'm going, coming through. What's good? Glad you're back. I was about to rush your ass out. Benjamin Bay, you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. I've been at the Astral well, Lounge. Well, I was hoping we'd celebrate your return with some drinks and a pile of Aurora. Yeah. I was about to start partying early when Boone Morgan tipped me off that Bay. You was I get the fuck out of here. Neon security goons. I'm pretty sure I missed him by less than a minute. Left a ton of good stuff behind, damn it. It doesn't scare me. I handled the situation. <laughs> so I've heard. Throwing yourself under the bus like that. Ouch. You are one crazy son of a bitch. I got what I needed, but I'm sorry you didn't. I think I'm done here. Uh, I think I got what I needed. You yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Yeah, I W. Since Bay, you flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. You have money too. Well, a business partner of mine named Nix was the author of the virus. Don't know if you know him or not. Then there's the folks I paid to keep an eye on Ayumi Komiko, a few of the guards Jennerdine. Like I said, it was a huge job. Honestly, I shouldn't be revealing my sources because that puts you on their radar as well. But hey, you asked. I get back to the key, maybe I'll put in word for Delgado. I'll get to the key, maybe I'll put in word for Delgado. You know That's what I'm saying? That's pretty cool of you to offer. But I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not gonna be much help. I don't know about Look, that. I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Aren't you the one? Some small amount of compensation seems reasonable, given the circumstances. Uh, I suppose I do that. I appreciate whatever. that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet. I see much cash I got, bro. How much uh, are you willing to part with? Sure, bro. Sure. This is perfect. It will definitely okay, help. Thank is you. Good enough. Clearly, you are very welcome. All right. I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Sir. Anyone your fancy virus? Completely ruined? Nah. I was hoping it would stay on Jennerdine's mainframe for the long term, but hey. At least it's already fed me a huge amount of data. Nix really knows what he's doing, though he charged me about six months worth of earnings. With any luck, I'll be able to recoup my costs in no time. What's next for you? I hear things are heating up back at the key, so I might fire up my bird and head over to check things out. Rumor has it that Delgado has some solid info on the Crix's legacy story he's been hawking for the last few years. If there's even a chance that it's true, I want to be there when Shinya Voss starts splitting the loot, if you catch my meaning. You believe Crix's legacy really exists? Now how did I know you were going to ask me that? Honestly, 
doesn't matter if I believe that Crix's legacy exists or not. What's important is that I believe in Delgado. If the man thinks that chasing shadows is gonna make us rich, then who the hell am I to judge, right? I mean, I'm not gonna jump off a cliff for him or anything, but hey, he needs an extra ship at his side, he's got it. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? I got you, I got you. I'm just recruiting everybody. Yeah, this contraband? That sucks. Oh, maybe another time. Hey there. I don't know what you think you heard, but maybe you should get paid to check. I wonder who they're talking to, because it's definitely not me. It's not me. That side's a bad place for you. I'm about to, I got, I don't know if I'm about to get shot at, but I'm about to pull out the blicky just in case. You never know. There he is! <laughs> Pulling this shit out just in case I hear it. There he is! Later. That was a lot of talking, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Way more talking than usual. Captain Kevin, hello. I am I ain't gonna lie. To see that you survived. I am not trying to cat to y'all, like. Here. What will be our next course of action? I'm not trying to cat right now. Lift up looks good. Timeline is going crazy. That's no cap. Timeline is going crazy. We're locking into orbit now. Turn to the key. Um, oh yeah, I'm out of fuel range. That's why. Okay. All right. It makes sense now. All right. It makes sense to me now of why I couldn't jump that far. I thought it was because I didn't. I didn't trap. That's why. Now it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Must have been a good conversation. It makes sense. Much fuel consumption. Grab drive spinning. Systems green. I get paid after to buy a new controller, so. We have a clean door right on the money. I'll get that $30 controller. Damn, you waiting for me at the gate? I have to say. I'm looking kind of suspicious. Captain All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. What the fuck is going on? Do you want to have a neon? Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. I'm going to overcook some potato in the microwave. Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real <laughs> comedian, you know that? <laughs> now get your ass to the repair bay. 
Go! Delgado. Uh, diplomacy, diplomacy uh, isolation, negotiation, bribery and speech challenges, shotgun certification, ballistics, increase by 15%. Okay, let me do this. There we go. Like the smell of a dead shark. After you cook them with pity. You're in space and you're talking about sharks. I appreciate that you may have business here. I would simply ask that you conclude it quickly. Heard about that. Oh, some deep shit is happening. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Dell. Really bad shape. I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? It's just about bat defensive batteries. Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now. Do you have what we sent you to Neon for? Right, I've been doing all the dirty work. Getting this wasn't easy, you know. Wow. Really? You know what else isn't easy? Listening to complaints and excuses. From everyone. All right, I get it. Just hand over the tech. All right, listen up because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. All right. How do you know you, that Sysdef is massing up for an attack? I have a very reliable source of mast. Oh. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Oh. I know exactly what you need to do. You need me to do. Prime my ship immediately. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Okay. Oh, is that all? And here I thought this was going to be a challenge. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Oh. There's nothing there when I get to Bannock 4. You better pray that isn't the case, because that means we are done. As in, no more Crimson Fleet. Not simple enough. Nothing around here is simple. Dell's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Of course I bring it here. Count on me. Yeah? I sure hope so. Yeah, I'm gonna be gone, Look, right? So you see the... I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. We're about to have to make a... Really, 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 what the fuck was that head moving? Get moving before it's too late. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so oh, help me with my shit. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy. 
All right, I like to be on my side. Bet you shit. would. Where is it? It's now both Conspite Module and Conduction Group Module. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Production grid module. I don't see that. That's the only second ship. I can't even do that on that. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Uh. I'd love to take your money, but... Oh, yeah, nothing like... I am not gonna cap, I don't see it. I do not see it. Am I tripping? Like, is this supposed to be here? There are auto projector, player. Missile launcher, missile launcher, electron beam. Yeah, I don't see it. Do y'all see a conductor anywhere? This is really confusing me. I need to get those defensive batteries. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM field surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. 
Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> uh, shit. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. What a common spike might have helped me find a legacy. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? You just watch your butt out there. Sis Def, I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this not a problem. What should she do for so? These are how much the ships are, okay. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not for me, my ship. Not a problem. Out of five? Sure, sure. All right, let's try this again. All I can uh, fire pistol, but player pressure all of being sure that I'm not tweaking here.
Oh. I didn't see that. How do I add? So confused. Do I really have to get rid of something? What just happened? I'm so confused. Fuck, do I see? That's what I'm trying to get to. All right. this up like how to add shit to the ship i don't because uh there, this is confusing unfortunately 
how to add works chip perfect because uh this is confusing Oh wow. Yeah, where was this? I can't believe it actually took this long. Figure that out. Uh, whatever bro. All good. Not even on a ship. See where else I'm gonna put that. I'm about to buy another ship. I need to get those defensive batteries online. Not a problem. Shop's always open. Alright. Uh, ship's in the ship's in the This is the same type of gym. 
This is literally the same shit. Literally the same one. I'll sell you this fucking I shit. I need to get those defensive batteries. Not a problem. I've got plenty. Oh my god. I need to get those defensive. Not a problem. Shops always. Actually, you know what? I need to get those defensive batteries. Not a problem. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. Oh, it's not register. See this shit. Oh, comes back. Wired. Wires goes. Russian oh. grid. Just fucking add some weapons on this shit. We gotta get a shield for this shit. Me a shield doesn't work for the oh, fuck it. You can go fuck yourself. Now it's not he leeches, we're just gonna have to hope for the best of it. Just gonna hope for the best, man. Hope for the best. I guess my ship is too small. It's gonna, it's gonna take forever. For, uh, uh, I have to climb the fucking ladder, huh? No lie, I'd rather press X for the cockpit.
right, here we go. We're free and clear for flight. After damn near an hour. Oh my god, that was a close one. I almost totaled my ship. And you didn't even scratch the page. If I had not mentioned it, I have another package. Hello, Captain. Alright. It is starting to hit the fan, I guess. Wherever the Crimson Fleet go, we'll all support ships have arrived, Commander. What in the fuck is going Good. on? After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. What the fuck's going on? There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Genadai. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Genadai is furious at us right now. They want Commander Ikande to resign. You actually need to resign? Fortunately, you provided just enough information for me to convince the Council that this program should continue. There are people that will handle Genadine's lawyers, so we can continue our jobs bringing down the Crimson Fleet. That doesn't diminish the gravity of the mistake you've made. What the fuck did you want me to do? I, didn't have, I did I literally didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. No, I don't. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see Sisdev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Krix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation and I'll have top throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure if you had 10,000 people literally trying to kill you, I'm pretty sure you'd probably do the same shit. Actually, no, I could have subdued them. Oh, fuck. Huh? Maybe he's right. I'm sure attacking them. It's the best course of action. I'm glad you see he's finally back in your way. Aaron quite panic over there. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If the God gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sisdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. You cannot help but admire their commitment to their mission. They only 